Hey, this is John with FixYourDirtBike.com, and this is how to keep your tires safe from dry rot. You don't need to worry about dry rot if you change your tires frequently, but for hobby riders, weekend warriors, vintage guys, or any rider on a budget, a rotted tire can ruin your weekend. How do you know if your tire has been affected by dry rot? If your tire has tiny cracks between the knobs and on the sidewall, it's already breaking down, and the worse it gets, the easier it is to spot. What causes dry rot? Let's start with the mindset that your tires are like your muscles. Like your muscles, rubber is made of connected strands called polymers, and these polymers need to stay strong and healthy to work correctly. Without getting into how tires break down on a molecular level, the following factors are shown to affect the life of your tires. Extreme temperatures, sunlight, corrosive chemicals, moisture, ozone, oxygen, and time. So how do we prevent dry rot? Well, we can't do anything about ozone, oxygen, and time, but we can avoid the rest. Let's start with storage. Water, heat, and UV rays break everything down faster, so your garage, shed, trailer, camper, or living room is ideal, basically anywhere that is shaded. If you store your bike in a structure without a floor, get your bike on a stand, or at least put your tires on blocks. Keep your tires inflated. Proper inflation keeps your tires in the correct shape. When your sidewall is collapsed, all the weight of your bike is sitting on that bulge in the sidewall. When your tire is inflated to spec, it will distribute the weight evenly. Avoid contact with chemicals. Corrosive chemicals will destroy rubber in a hurry, so be careful when you're handling gas, parts cleaner, and pretty much any chemical designed to clean. And yes, even soap. Basically, if your tire comes into contact with anything besides the ground, rinse it off. And the most important thing you can do to prevent dry rot, ride your bike. If you don't ride much, get out at least once a month until the tires are warmed up. This will keep the polymers flexible and healthy. If you ride a lot and you are storing your bike for the winter, you're probably okay. So to recap, the best way to prevent dry rot is to put your bike on a stand in a dark, cool place when you aren't riding. Storing your bike on a stand is ideal for long-term storage for several reasons, but I get into that in a different video. What can you do about dry rot if it's already started? If you catch dry rot in the early stages, it is possible to save your tires with water-based rubber conditioners. There are a lot of products to choose from, so I put a link below if you want to go shopping. Can you ride with rotted tires? Absolutely. You can ride on anything. Just don't be surprised if they don't get you through the weekend, and how long they last depends on the level of decay. When properly cared for, your tires can last a very long time. Most rubber products last about six years, but as you saw in my tire change video, I'm still running a tire from 2005. If you want to see a video that gets more into the science of dry rot, or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe.